indeed an auspicious occasion, the founding meeting of an organization with such lofty goals and such high hopes. This organization, through the strength of community, has a better chance to prevail than isolated efforts working alone. Everybody here wants to be broadcasters, right? But what kind of broadcasters do you want to be? If you want to save the world, get up and do something about it. One is permitted to dream of an actual linking of the stronger stations in a student-run radio or television network. Welcome to You Network, TV showcase of the hottest shows from student producers throughout America. Tune in and view the most innovative comedy, computer animation, documentary, news, music, and student films on the air anywhere. Shows being down on our satellite network reach a million students at over 100 campuses across the nation. Watch U Network and you'll experience tomorrow's television today. From Hawaii to Texas, Mississippi to New York City, student producers are reporting the news. Good evening, I'm Michelle Lavi and welcome to Inside Out. Their documentaries, stories and shows bring a new perspective to familiar issues and provide a fresh look at the world. Ah! Student productions are, by definition, experimental. They shock, inspire, confront and challenge their audience. Well, I think it's a bunch of gratuitous imagery stuck together. I hated it. Well, you, you were supposed to hate it. Elegant and ugly. Art can still be found on television. Physical, cerebral, slapstick, or serious. College comedy tests the limits of television. Why don't you get a clue and try to do something original, Pat and Steve, East Lansing, Michigan? Well, Pat and Steve, I think that's the most ridiculous thing. <laughs> Willing to take a chance, student producers are redefining humor with new ideas and daring originality. I think a hug's in order. I do too. Tom. <laughs> The drama of youth plays out in the soap operas and films of student producers. You tend to hide the fact that you're the father of my child. My life is over. They bring their stories to the screen with refreshing humor and intensity. College kids aren't cutting class to watch TV. They're producing TV shows and getting credit for it. Some of the shows push the limits. Others imitate tried and true formulas. Either way, college TV is a glimpse of what we'll be watching in the future on today's Inside Story. From the hallowed halls of the Ivy League to the sun-drenched campuses of California, college students are tuning in and turning on to television production like never before. Over 800 college TV stations up and running, which can reach nearly 45 million viewers. From soap operas to sitcoms, news shows to experimental video, the classroom is rapidly giving way to the control room and the sky's the limit. Glenn Guttmacher heads the National Association of College Broadcasters. College television is news, drama, comedy, music, uh, public affairs, uh, experimental computer animations. You name it, if it can be produced, college television is doing it. Oh, thanks, Jericho. I've come too far. One of the most popular of the college soaps is the award-winning Semesters. Written, produced, and starring students from New York's Ithaca College, the storylines are like those found in any soap. Lust, greed, power, oh, and homework. Co-producer Beth Haken says Semesters has it all. Stuff like teen pregnancy, um, suicide prevention, um, fraternities, things that other students are going to want to watch. That's what, we, that's what we write scripts for. Oh, so you just recycle plastics and papers? No, we just kind of uh, leave it on the floor and hope it decomposes. <laughs> College TV is also very much about laughs, from sketch comedy like Michigan State's The Show to Muggsy's, a sitcom loosely based on Cheers from Boston's Emerson College. Undergrads are putting in overtime on comedy. This is your brain. 
This is your brain on steroids. Any questions? In addition to the satire, college stations are also covering the world of entertainment with celebrity interviews on shows like Pepperdine's Backstage Pass and with music video programs like Washington State's Video Underground. Still, other schools are a haven for experimental computer animation and other off-center programming. Keith Spiegel is the station manager at Brown University's cable station. I think what's really rare um, about this station is that we have an opportunity really to do whatever we want without really any censorship or anything. Um, we can experiment in any direction and it, because it's a completely student-run organization. Well, good morning. Nice to have you with us on this Friday morning. Welcome to Studio One. There's also, of course, news. The University of North Dakota's slickly produced morning show, Studio One, has much the look of its network counterparts, while hundreds of other college stations regularly crank out newscasts with varying degrees of success. CBS newsman Ed Bradley believes all this hands-on experience is a good start, but it's not enough. I think that you have to take what it is that you learn in the classroom and go out in the street and put it to practice and learn from your mistakes, because you will make mistakes. You make mistakes every day. While the future news anchors, writers, and directors of this country busily hone their skills, those who do the hiring, like HBO chairman Michael Fuchs, are optimistic about the future. These people are not far removed from being wunderkind in a uh, television company or movie studio. So I, I think this, it is important to change and to nurture them and to encourage them. I, I, for sure, this is our industry and we want the talent, the most talented and best people to come into the industry. And with the start today's students are getting, there's no telling what the TV of tomorrow may look like.